So, I'm trying to decide where to put um, my new 4G, 3G uh, cell fire unit for the truck so I can get better 4G and 3G data and stuff and phone reception. Um, it's real sporadic here on the property and it drops in and out all the time and it's really annoying when you're trying to make phone calls and all the rest of it. So, I'm trying to figure out if I should put it in the truck or if I should actually put it inside the canopy in here. I'd like it in the canopy, but then I'm going to have to run the feed um, back into the cab somehow. And I just think that's going to be more of a pain in the neck. Um, so I think I might just mount it. It's really portable and it just goes in the cigarette lighter. That's how it gets power. I may hardwire it later, but for now I'm probably just going to put it in the cigarette lighter in the truck. So, and the good thing is I could take it back out if I just put Velcro on the back side of it. I can put it in the truck and then take it out of the truck if I ever sell this truck and, and whatnot. Rightio, so looking at this kit, um, this is the just the outside packaging that it comes in. So this is a cell fire by Next Ivity or whatever. So it's a smart signal repeater, well, it's Bluetooth, um, that's my carrier Telstra. So this is the actual unit itself. So I'm thinking about mounting that somewhere inside the, the truck. And then this is the internal antenna that gives you your, your new signal. And then it does come with this antenna, which is like magnetic, I'm pretty sure. So that would normally go um, on your truck or your vehicle or whatever on the outside. And then you just got to run this wire back into the cab somehow. But I've actually bought something else. Um, so this is the, uh, it's made by uh, Wilson Electronics. It's called the WeBoost um, antenna. So it's like a big canister sort of looking thing. So it says that it's good with all US carriers. It should work, it's just an antenna. It should not be nothing sort of complicated about it. But I got this off eBay uh, from the States. It's got a bunch of different hardware and fittings and stuff. So, And I think it does already have the right connection to go straight onto the cell fire thing. So there's also a bracket there. I think I might get a different bracket, one that folds down or something. But yeah, I'm going to go and try and I'm gonna put this together now. And then we'll go outside and I'll try and see where I can get this... Uh, mounted but it's pretty pretty cool little canister there so that'll go on my roof rack but I'd like it to be able to fold down as well so see how we go I'm going to see how we can mount it righto so what I'm going to do before I get too carried away I'm going to go I'm going to connect this um, to the cell fire this antenna uh, the one from America and let's go out and see if it works in the truck. I've got the power cord just here. So I'll go out and we'll just sit it all out there and just make sure everything works before I uh, go trying to mount this antenna and stuff to the roof rack. So we'll just, I'll take all this outside now. And... So I've just finished downloading the Cell Fire Wave app on my phone. I'm just going to accept it's whatever it's doing. So I've got the unit plugged in just here. I haven't got the uh, the big antenna hooked up yet. I just want to see what it does. So I might, yeah, I might hook the big antenna up wherever the end of that cable is. Okay, so I've just uh, hooked everything up and I just had to register on the app. So you can see the percentages just there. If I can get that to kind of focus. You watch it all drop down if I move the antenna inside of the truck. It drops right off completely. So, well, at least we know it works. So that's good. So yeah, the WeBoost Aerial, um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of these canisters. Um, it does come with two extensions here as well. So I'll show you them in a minute. Or oh, you probably would have seen them in the packet. Um, and then you've got different brackets to mount it. 
So I'm thinking I'm probably going to mount it up there on the roof rack somewhere and then be able to kind of tilt it, tilt it back when I'm not using it and then tilt it up um, just because you can see my carport is pretty, pretty low just there. So I think I'm going to mount it, I think I'm going to mount this unit maybe down there on the floor. I'll put some Velcro on the back side of it, stick it to the floor there, run the power into that uh, power outlet and just have it hooked up there and then I might run the this little internal antenna maybe uh, on the back side of the centre console there or something um, to put the signal out in the in the cab. Alright so we're just in my truck now um, sorry about the mess everywhere trucks are <laughs> I really need to clean the truck so so I've got the unit here um, Basically that's the internal antenna side and I've just put a bunch of uh, basically covered the whole back in Velcro so it can still get airflow through those holes down the back there as well um, and if I have any I can't see any overheating issues but if I have any issues I'll just move it later mount it somewhere else but Right now it's good because it's portable so I can remove it from this truck when I sell it because these are expensive. This is about a thousand dollars so and then the antenna was about two hundred and fifty. So I'm gonna go ahead now and we're gonna uh, mount it down there on the floor and then I'll figure out how to get the uh, the aerial ran somewhere, somewhere in the cabin here. Um, I'm not too sure where I'm gonna stick it yet. I might just put it on the back side of there on the center console there and then we'll figure out how to get this other aerial um, the big Wii boost one on the outside and how I'm going to mount that for now until I get my tilting bracket and stuff rightio so what I've done is a uh, cool thing about the F truck is it's got all these grommets everywhere like all on the, the body so you can see that grommet up there I basically ran it through that and I've just uh for now it's just temporary until I get a different bracket but I've just got the uh, as you can see how low my carport is so just temporary I've got it mounted on an angle like that it's uh, pretty secure there so and uh, just ran the, the cable along the side here for now then it just drops into that grommet there which is really handy and then just ran it down the inside of the pillar here and it comes out just out the bottom so I'm just going to hook up the uh, this piece to the end of the cable and uh, hook it up so it's um, sitting down there now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna need two hands for a second I'm gonna get all this connected up and then um, tidy this wiring just kind of hide it and then try and find somewhere for that internal antenna to stick okay so I've got it all uh, velcroed down now hooked up you can see the uh, the outdoor antenna external antenna running down there I've just got the extra bit of stuff looped underneath the seat there so it's uh no one sits in the back here anyway so um, there's not really any issue of anyone kicking it. It's more so just my stuff that's floating around the back here. So just got it hooked up to the cigarette lighter there. Um, I may hardwire it later on. But yeah, I'll give it a test run and see how she goes. Let's say I'm going to put this, this internal antenna. I'm going to run it down along, up through past the dash, up the pillar, and probably put it on the window up there so it's close to my phone. Oh yeah, so I've got the... Uh, the internal antenna mounted just up there. I've just ran the wires around through the pillar, back down through the center console, back down to the unit in the back there. So I've just brought the truck out of the shed and um, I just want to do a test on that antenna. So uh, while it's doing its thing, might be able to see the canopy a bit better now. So I've taken that stuff out just to try and lighten the back of the truck. Got the tent set up up there. 
I uh, went to the drive-in last night and I opened the tent and it was all wet inside. So um, I don't think I shut it up properly the last time I closed it. I think there may have been a bit of canvas hanging out the side. And as I've been driving with all this rain that we've been getting, just it's like channeled it up into the tent. So I've got it all open right now, drying out. And it just has not stopped raining here at all. So, But yeah, so just letting that cell fire thing do its thing with the antenna and um, obviously it's not going to get the best um, reception or whatever the way the antenna is positioned it's just I don't really have a choice on where to put it right now because I don't have a fold down bracket I want to get one of those GME brackets for the roof and that way I can just fold it down when I come under the carport flick it back up when I'm driving around normally and yeah should be all good then so but yeah so Another addition to the F-250, got the um, sleeping bag out, trying to dry it out in the pillows and stuff. If you want to know what this bag is, it's like a canvasy style sleeping bag, it's the uh, Darchi uh, 1400, I think it's the cold, cold mountain, in case you want to know what sleeping bag I was running. So, it's uh, a, bit, a bit damp. But um, surprisingly when I opened the tent, it uh, didn't smell or anything inside. I thought it would have had that musky, wet smell, but it was actually pretty good. So, yeah, it's got it drying on the bonnet. Might actually put it on the, uh, put it on the trailer to dry out. So, yeah, just got to make sure I don't do that again. Make sure I get the, uh, get all that canvas tucked in properly. Rightio, well, I've just been uh, packing some things away and getting the truck packed back up, folded all the tent back down after it's been drying out all day. So, But we now have, everything's mounted, aerial's mounted, the uh, cell fire's mounted, so everything's where it should be. Um, did Went through and did all the checks, and yeah, it's um, right now it's boosting close to 30 to 40% in my current location, which is really good. So, I'll just jump on to the, uh, the app and we'll take a look at what it's uh, what it's reading at right now so it's uh, searching searching right now for the the device it's now syncing but I've actually noticed today I've had it on while I've been around my truck and it's actually improved my cell cell service quite a lot so it's actually really good I'm um, pretty impressed so far but I'll, um, I'll test it out over the next few months and I'll give you an update on how it's going and if I can recommend it so so yeah right now um, signal quality 82% signal strength 69 it's kind of going up and down so it's boosting close to 28% right now on a 3G so yeah it's good to know but it's actually it's it's doing doing what i want it to do and yeah i've actually had really good internet service today just by working around the truck and a few other things that i've been doing so yeah so that's the cell fire and this is the x-wave app um you can buy them online on ebay you can get them from uh, most um, phone stores and stuff like that they can order them in for you um, and the Wii Boost, I'll put a link for the Wii Boost, um, which is the, the antenna. And so I'll, uh, I'll give you an update once I do, once I do end up swapping this out and moving it so it's, um, it's actually upright. But right now it's, it's working, it's working pretty good, um, even laying down the way it is. So, but yeah, obviously it's going to probably work better when it's up vertically, but uh, right now I'm just going to have it laying down the way it is and yeah so see how it goes but yeah another mod done to the f-250 now so got more to come on this truck uh, we've got the exhaust system we've got the long range fuel tank got the airbags um, just working with those companies now to try and get the truck um, ready to go down to those guys to get that that work done um, they've just been kind of 
putting things off during corona and stuff so i just put it off too i wasn't in the in a hurry to get things done and yeah so but keep working on it and uh yeah but pretty happy with the uh new addition to the truck today so hope you guys are having an awesome weekend and i'll catch you in the next video so finally got nice blue sky epic sunset so yeah catch us later see ya